We are either one, two, or three days before we're actually going to be down at the creek. And we have our sponsor of the video, Vivor. They sent me this gold panning kit, and it was free to me, so I am testing it all. And we'll see how it all goes. I am going to take my other pans just because they're a lot bigger. But we are going to try these pans. And this sluice had a blue pr protective uh, plastic all over it. You see some left there. I went ahead and pulled all of it off already. So here we have the mouth to the sluice, the folding sluice. It's the 50 inch. Really nice. It's got the that bottom fine carpet. And it's got miner's moss. Then it has this uh, diamond plate on here. And then you have these large uh, little ridges here. There's two sets of that. Then up here you have your, this is, you know, the entrance where you, you're putting in your dirt. You have this fine mat before it even gets to all that. So I don't have it tightened right just because I want to be able to fold it for now. But it looks pretty simple to tighten. So you'll guys will see that in the video. Here's some pipettes. Really can't use these for much, but it's cooler added. But everything else, uh, you get three of these nice, they're plastic but they're nice sized jars to hold gold in. You got your pans, you got your magnet. You've got these three little water squirting bottles, I think. Here's a nice scooper. So whenever I have dirt, I can feed it with this. We have a nice little pry bar type thing, which that's like perfect. And then we have these little picks. So I'll be able to pick in around some of those little river boulders and then here I thought this was cool it's a magnifying glass with a fold-out pair of tweezers on the bottom so you could look through and pick up like that so yeah I'll see you guys down on the water it's you know hour 20 minutes away but I'm not going today but it's a little cold so yeah see you guys when we're there thanks beaver but we got to put it to use all right so we are down at the creek here and I'm heading up to the spot. Got my backpack and two buckets. So, see you guys there. All right, we got two entire buckets of sifted concentrate. And we're gonna go ahead. Well, I don't know if it concentrates. Just sifted uh, dirt out of under the boulders. We got two buckets. I'm gonna get the sluice set up right here. And uh, we'll see how it runs. So I took off the matting here and I'm just putting these washers on and these wing nuts to lock the sluice in place. We got one there and one here. So I'm just getting these done and then I'll tighten everything up, get the mats back on. So the Viver sluice is all completely tightened up and now I'm gonna get it set in here. Guys, right, so here's the sluice. Slowly tapers down. We have an inch going in at the top and by it gets to the end, it's like three inches. It should be a little bit more, but I think this is fine. Um, there's enough water flow and it's got more than enough room to trap the gold. So I'm gonna sit on this wet rock and we're gonna start feeding some dirt. So I'm gonna just sit here and here's the scooper that comes with the kit. And you're gonna just feed it like that. Now, as you can see, like I said, I don't have it set exactly how it should, but if you can see, slowly, it's getting rid of these rocks, slowly. So we're going to do another scoop here. We're going to do these two buckets, and uh, I'm just doing them nice and slow, just like this. So this is Future Nick, I just want to do a little voiceover here and just state the obvious, I am a beginner at this and as you'll see throughout the video, I just I run too much and I just don't have angled enough so there's a lot of extra dirt and I know I lost gold. Well guys, I'm pretty excited. I'm almost done with the first bucket and right there's a nice piece of gold and there's a piece there, a piece there, another piece here and this is just in this top section. So 
I trust the sluice. I'm gonna leave the gold alone until we're done. Now as you're running this through, you don't want it clumping. So just keep it really wet like this so that it falls apart. So we just went through two complete buckets and now we're gonna pan this down. So let's get this pulled out of the water. I gotta redo this afterwards. I'd keep going, but this just needs redone. It's lopsided and you can lose a lot doing that. I can see gold though, like I actually, from here I can see it. So there's the header of it. Most of the gold should be right here. And if there's any more, it'd be caught down in these two spots. As you can see, the flow of water wasn't good enough and it wasn't tilted enough on a good enough angle. So there's a lot more material at the end. But as you can see, the top part, there's not much. And here there's not much, but there's a lot of black sand. All that black you see is black sand, which is almost as heavy as gold. So when I'm panning, you're gonna see a lot of that. So I'm gonna take this apart and then wash the carpets in this bucket. So here's that more finer carpet that sits on the bottom. And as you can see, even after those layers, it's still catching uh, the small stuff getting through. Raccoon wants something. I don't got food, buddy. So here's another look at this carpet that moved up a little bit. I don't personally see gold on it. Keep in mind where I'm at, we only have glacial gold. But the heavy's definitely trapped here because we got fishing string with sinkers and all kinds of stuff. It's always worth checking everything. All right, so I know this pan's over full, but there's a lot of big rocks in here I'm gonna take out. So this is the concentrates from two buckets. So we'll see what we can get. I'm gonna start uh, panning it down. Black sands wise, I'm dealing with a lot. I've been, uh, I'm saving everything you see right now. So if I miss any, it's fine. I'll eventually get it. Starting to see some gold. Up in the top. This stuff is just, it's a pain. It's a pain to work through this stuff. And all I'm doing is uh, slowly working it down. And then I use my squeeze bottle here. to get all the black sands out. And uh, at some point down the road, I'll repan this at my house. But for now, I just wanna get the rough gold out. And uh, yeah, there's, there's a chance that we're gonna have a decent little tiny bit of gold here. Cause I seen like six pieces while I was doing it. But this is the problem. There, like there's a piece here I mean, it goes with the black sand. Yeah, there it is. So as I see it, I'm gonna keep pushing it up. And hopefully it stays up there. It takes time, you can't rush it. All right. So you guys can see, got some gold up there, nothing crazy, but it's gold. So the sluice is set back up for now. I'm just letting it run. I've got it a lot more adjusted now. And you gotta make sure you keep this clear back behind it, cause you'll get some gravel right there. And if you leave the gravel, then the water won't flow right, so. We've got good drop though. Inch of water at the top. By the time it gets to the bottom, it's like four inches. So we're gonna fill these two buckets back up. I'm literally just digging. see this big rock right here I'm just digging right here this is kind of already like dug out there but I'm just kind of digging right here but yeah our pan of black sand is there I'm taking all that home so I'm not missing no gold but I don't have time to sit out here and pan it super fine 
we've got probably about 15, 20 pieces of gold in that bottle, so it's small. I'm looking for a picker, a, a Pennsylvania picker, so come on. All right, took me about 40, 50 minutes, but I got two more buckets of hand sifted uh, under these big boulders, so I guarantee there's gonna be more gold in these two than the last two. It's a really good spot I dug at. I risked breaking my entire arm under a giant boulder that might have fell, but it's still good. So I'm gonna sit down, pan this out, or sluice it out. So once again, the sponsor of the video is Viver, and the sluice that you see right now that we're using is what they sent. If you guys want one, you can get it for 5% off. I'll put the coupon code on screen, and also the link is in the description, and the code covers all their products. Look at this. Nice little piece for glacial gold. That raccoon's back. Hmm. Hopefully it swims across. Yep. There's something something wrong with it but I only have a nine millimeter that's too much especially for here huh I don't know maybe it just has some kind of walking problem well that's a nice piece of gold right there you guys can't see it but I can another raccoon swam across I'm not sure if it's the same one or what. Probably gonna attack me, honestly. But we got that one bucket done, so as the first bucket ran through on this run, we're gonna do the second now. I might do a third, I'm not sure, but this takes a bit. So the sluice is just sitting for now. I'm gonna let it slowly filter out stuff. And uh, real quick, I'm gonna go just right there on the other side and we're gonna dig up some more I'm gonna do one more bucket so let's get that done got another bucket here I'm only gonna run three I think past three buckets if you're just risking losing gold there's a piece it's right next to a little one all right, so last run was two buckets. This is three buckets. And uh, this time, these three buckets, one and a half of them are from under one boulder, and another one and a half of the buckets are from under another boulder. So I can see gold. But I'm gonna go ahead and pull the sluice up and clean it out. So I'm going to take my time and divide this into either two pans or three and I'm going to suck out all the gold I see and then save the rest of the black sand in that one pan. So let me do that. So that was pan three. We still don't have any of the big chunks. So either this pan or the last one is going to have most of it. I pulled out about seven pieces of gold, just smaller pieces. So we'll see what the uh, last pan holds. All right, so I'm going to put the sluice back together. But we ended up with like, I'd say 20 pieces, like really small. Two pieces you could see easy. The rest was like really small. So we've got a little bit of gold so far. But right up here, there's a giant, I think it's a pipe, goes across, like blocks everything off. And the reason I'm slightly digging, you know, into the side here is because this is a giant rock wall that was built by human. So everything that's up against it is just kind of here, you know, in the creek. And that wall is acting as just a break wall. You know, it stops there. So it's nice. I can actually lift some of these boulders and dig since it's not actually affecting the bank. So yeah, I'll get this back together. And I'm going to do a test hole 
up there a little bit further. All right, I'm gonna test half of this bucket, see what we can get. There were three little uh, tiny pieces of gold in that test bucket, so I moved upstream and I'm doing another one. So pretty much we did a full bucket of test from upstream. And now I'm just speed panning. There were two little flakes, or not flakes, just two little uh, flower gold pieces. But it's gonna take three pans to get through it. There was a lot of sand. I'm just kind of speed doing it because I'm getting the top layer off so there won't be much gold. But that last pan, we had gold and we have gold again. I'm not even gonna bother trying to show you, it's really small. But I'm just getting this out of the way, resetting the sluice, and then I'm gonna dig deep uh, under just a boulder. I'm honestly kind of surprised with that. Um, I was only digging just a few little spots there, about a bucket worth of uh, material total. And we had about, I don't know, 10, 10 pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead, set this back up here and move up to the rock wall again and see if we can get any more because i seen quartz up there all right i just took a really nice half a bucket sample from up the creek i seen quartz again so hopefully that's where glacial till broke down and we have some gold i ran two buckets through Let's see if we got some quartz down in here um, a lot of black sand behind each of these well, curves here, but I can see one piece right here, and I've seen another tiny little piece somewhere, but I had the water moving a little fast, so I'm assuming the gold is like stuck right here, because that's the only thing with this is there's like a three-quarter inch height difference right here between this and here, so it kind of makes it a little weird, and then the wing nut makes an interference, but this wing nut pockets the gold right here so I'm gonna get this cleaned up so I definitely did the last sluice run back is killing me but I mean we did like almost eight buckets after this one's done so or we we've done pretty much eight eight and a half yeah after this so here's a half bucket you gotta pan it out it's probably four or five pans and uh yeah, we'll see, we'll see what we get. We're gonna tip today's gold. See what we got. There's not much gold in this state. Here we go. But I can see color. That's all that matters. And there's a sinker that I stuck in there. Lots of lead. Usually I just have it separate, but let me uh, set the pan down for a second. Lots of gold. Pretty good. Slowly pan it down. Well, that's the best view of it I'm going to get you. Uh, it's taking way too long to separate it from the black sand. I have to do it at home. It's going to take a good 30 minutes to get it right, so... I'm gonna put this all back in the snuffer bottle, pack up, and that is all black sand to take home, which I know there's micro pieces of gold in there, so I'll do that another time also, but yeah. Now, if you see what happens, you can't see it, but the gold, if you keep it dry for a second, it'll still be wet, but if you take the water off of it and it's small enough, it'll actually float to the top and float around, so you gotta be careful. But this gold's very, very small. So it's, it's hard to see it when it tries to take off. All right, so I, thought, I took the top off of the sluice here, got it all back together, I'm gonna put it in the bag. Here's the last pan for good luck. See if we get anything.